Sherry Davis, and I'm a board-certified dermatologist from Bloomington, Indiana. When the COVID-19 pandemic started, I asked my med school colleagues on the front lines in the ERs and in the hospital, how could I help? In addition to noting a shortage of PPE, they noted that they weren't able to order any kind of surgical hat online. Normally, my ER colleagues didn't wear these, but they noted that our hair can actually be a fomite for coronavirus. So just like the coronavirus can sit on the surfaces, if a patient's coughed in a room you or coughed on you, it might be in your hair. And then if you incidentally touch your hair, touch your face, you've now potentially exposed yourself to coronavirus. So they thought it would be very useful to be able to wear hats in order to cover all that hair up and then they could take that home at night and wash it. So this is just another part of the protective equipment um, that my colleagues thought would be useful. So I reached out to my sister-in-law, who's a much better seamstress than I am, and Heather Gitt came up with a prototype for me. Um, I have made some of these since. I am an amateur on the sewing machine, uh, so if I can do it, you can do it. And I'm gonna teach you how to make one of these surgical uh, caps in about 20, 30 minutes. Pick yourself out some fabric. You're going to need approximately one half yard to make one hat. I like to use a quilter's cotton, but not the calico cotton. You will want to cut yourself a pattern on a piece of cardstock, and this would be for a size medium hat, probably about nine inches long by about seven uh, and a half inches wide. Um, I have a relatively big head, so this does fit me, but you'll probably want to go a little smaller um, for people who want more of a small size. Choose your fabric and fold it in half with pattern facing out on both sides. And you wanna make sure you have the pattern facing in the direction that you're going to want it on the top of the head. And then you're gonna take your pattern and you're gonna place it over that. You can make some markings there if you want. And then you're gonna cut that out. And after you've cut this, you're gonna iron it so everything's nice and flat. Again, you're gonna have print side out on both sides. Um, and you need to make sure you decide which way you're gonna wanna be your front and back. So um, I'm gonna have my front be this side, if this were up, so that my flowers are sort of facing forward. Now, if you're making this for someone who has a lot of hair, you can always make the back a little bit bigger and you can even pleat it whenever you're going to sew it to the sides. Um, and make it more of like a bouffant style. Next, we are gonna sew these pieces together. If you need, you can go ahead and pin them together and then uh, that'll help you place your line. But if your sewing machine has little tick marks, you don't necessarily have to pin this together. You can just go ahead and sew. And there you have it after I've sewn those two sides together. Cut yourself a piece of fabric approximately 28 inches long by about 10 and a half inches wide, fold it in half, and then iron it. Now fold it in half. We're gonna cut our backside at an angle. So when you're making this for someone with thin hair or short hair, uh, you are gonna wanna cut these, uh, the backside at an angle. And I'm gonna cut approximately two and a half inches down and approximately uh, seven inches in, so about halfway in. So cut the free ends at an angle so that the hat slopes backwards. So the arrows indicate your folded ends here. And these arrows represent your cut ends. So again, you want this piece folded in half. You've already sewn your top together. You wanna to decide which side you, in case the patterns are slightly different, which side you want out. I'm gonna choose this side out. So I'm gonna have that face down. And then you wanna make sure, again, you've got two sides here with the folded part on the bottom. Your cut edge is what's gonna get sewn to your top. Um, again, I did an angle on this one to make the hat a little smaller, but you can always keep this end a little longer for someone who's gonna have a lot of hair. <clears throat> you wanna fold it in half so you know where your center is. Um, and then that's the side I'm gonna start pinning to the front of my hat. So again, you wanna make sure you know where your front is. My front's gonna be here. And then you wanna make sure that you are going to sew the pattern the correct way. So if I'm sewing this way, 
this side is gonna be upside down. So I need to change that. Aha, now my pattern's gonna be the way I want it. So just make sure that if you have a specific direction to your pattern, that you are gonna sew it in the direction that you want. All right, and again, I've picked the middle, correct, and I'm gonna start pinning. So you wanna pin inside your sewing line that you did on your top half, and I'm gonna have my pins on, uh, I'm gonna place them from my top of my hat in. We should be pretty even there. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to fold over and pin down these ends. Um, and so I actually fold them twice. And you do want that to sort of meet right in the middle. And if you notice it's gonna be a little too long, you can always trim that just a little bit off. And I'm gonna trim off about the same on that other side. Great, so when you fold that down, it should meet right about in the middle, and again, you're gonna fold it, fold it twice. So first, I am gonna sew in my ends, so I have a nice finished edge. And I like to start from the top. just like this. And I'm gonna do that to each side. A little close up again, so this is my end. I have the folded side will be the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and sew that down. This is gonna be my inside. This is gonna be my outside. All right, so it is time to sew the two parts together. So I'm going to sew with my top part in. And I'm gonna start by sewing one of my ends down. So just make sure you've kind of got that where you want that to be and that's where I'm gonna start. And then you wanna stay inside your sewing line here and stay approximately uh, same distance so that you've got a pretty even uh, sewing line all the way around and a pretty symmetric hat. So when you're coming around to the end, this is gonna be really important that you make sure that you line these two ends up well, because you don't want one side a lot longer than the other. So you can see, I need to sew that one. That's pretty good, it's in line. It's totally fine if you overlap these two ends, or if you don't, and they're a little separated, that's gonna be fine as well. All right, so let's go ahead and sew that.
turn our hat inside out and we'll see how we did. That was pretty good. And again, your angle that you cut your ends at are gonna dictate how tall that hat is in the front and how much it's gonna angle in the back. And again, you wanna give a little more room in the back for someone that's gonna have a lot of hair or really thick hair. All right, it's time to add your ribbon. So I am all about uh, popping these out pretty quick uh, so I can make several. Um, and I find that using ribbon is the fastest way to do this, and I think it's completely adequate. Um, one way that you can make your hat adjustable is when you're gonna add your ribbon, the further you go in to that back inside, the more they're gonna be able to pull it and make it fit. If you add your ribbon really close to the edge, they're not gonna make, be able to make that much tighter than what you have already made. So if you're a little concerned about it being big, just come in a little further in order to sew your ribbon in. So when I sew my ribbon in, I'm going to make a little rectangle here as I sew. With your needle down you're going to go ahead and lift up and turn so that you can do your next line of this rectangle turn actually i'm going to make that a little bit longer And then you've basically got a little rectangle on the outside. If you have a bigger ribbon, you're gonna be able to, um, you could cross hatch it and make a little diagonal. Um, and then you wanna do the same thing on the other side, trying to make it uh, about the same uh, distance in, same distance down in your fabric. So here I've sewn that ribbon in with a little rectangle that will be visible on the outside of the hat. Ribbon on the inside. Uh, with ribbon, I do like to just gently light the ends so they don't fray. Uh, with a lighter and then our hat should be ready to put on and that's it in 20 to 30 minutes you've made a hat uh, that will protect your hair and cover it up while you're seeing patients um, so again because I've added those ribbons on the inside and kind of put them far in I'm able to make that hat a little bit more adjustable now it's nice and tight around my head I got my hair stuffed inside and there you have it so uh, hopefully this is simple enough that you can make a hat for you, uh, a loved one, or a healthcare worker in your community. Uh, and please remember that I am an expert in skin disease. I am not an expert on the sewing machine. So um, cut me a little slack for that. I do want to thank all the healthcare workers uh, on the front lines taking care of COVID patients. Please, everyone stay healthy and safe. Thanks again.